Hey guys, we're going to be starting on the Master Difficulty today, Chapter 1, Noise Disturbance, Ruckus Identified against Blaster will be the first fight. And I'm going to take this squad with me, not uh, OG Prime, Windblade, or Ratchet. They're stuck in Alliance mission right now, so this squad will have to do. Will have to do. And I was going to go for like a full Decepticon team, but I feel like adding Grimlock in there will give some nice uh, attack rating to both kickback and to motormaster as well as himself gaining 16 percent attack rating from each of them so pretty good uh synergy there not to mention the enforcer synergy between kickback and motormaster and <clears throat> i checked this first one and it doesn't seem too bad like the rating isn't all that crazy but i know as you keep going along in the missions i feel like the I think the bot rating goes all the way up to like 15,000 rating or something like that. And it gets pretty difficult. So we're gonna start small <laughs> with this chapter one first. And we're gonna go this path, increased range damage and by 150 and range speed. So we'll go this way. And I would go this other path, the left path, but I don't want to. <laughs> I just hate dealing with the range repair. I'd rather have like the a good squad with me that way i can just run through it in one go but anyways <clears throat> i know that these master spotlight fights they're probably gonna last a little bit longer especially in like the next chapters so i might end up using my ipad for those fights depending on how these fights go hopefully i don't lag like towards the end before we get to the blaster and ko a lot of my bots that would suck or like right now oh look that reflect came in handy there I suck at fighting Sharktikov. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Kind of on the special two. Thankfully, that stable Nucleon Core. It's giving me some uh, some nice bonuses. That and the Fallen Titan Hand, each giving me five percent. So ten percent to attack and to health. So. Nice little boost there. The other two relics are, I have the Galvatron one. Yeah, a Galvatron and a Megatron one for the increased boost in Alliance missions. So I'm not gonna change those. I feel like I should be fine with just these for now. So stick to these. Barricade. All right, what do, what do I wanna do against Barricade? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take Megatron against Barricade. Let's see if we can steal that mod from him. If we can steal the mods using Megatron, I feel like that'd be amazing. It'll make uh, Megatron like really good for this for spotlight missions. Some of you guys probably already know the answer to that, but I'm a total noob playing with Megatron. I don't really uh, play with him too, too often. Oops, got tagged there. Too slow at dodging. I don't think I'm gonna go for the fuse. I'm just gonna hit another five hit combo and hopefully kill him. There we go. All right. Megatron wins. I hit once with the heavy for like 2k, so that one kind of hurt, but we're good. News. Top stories. President Trump. Wow, wow. All right. It's something we didn't want to read. All right. Let's keep going. I usually have notifications off. I think I forgot to turn off notifications off. Oh, well. Keep going. T clogged on Ironhide. If you guys want to trigger the T clog, just like hold block at a distance, and eventually he will get tired of shooting you and go for like a heavy. Come on, Ironhide. Nope. Alright, never mind. Not today. He's not feeling it today. Let's go for. I was going to play the shocks, but I feel like it might be best just to wait for a special two. Get some more power leaks off. <clears throat> also, I forged my three star kickback. Yeah, I think it was like rank four maxed out into this kickback just to unlock uh, forge level 100. And then I was able to purchase kickback two more times, I think. So I was able to dupe my three star. Uh, two more with the leftover chips, which came in handy really well. Ooh, this Sharktacon. I hate the Scout Sharktacon so much. This guy, special two hurts. Always gotta be blocking. 
Oh my god, I was shooting so fast. <laughs> right, let's see. Try to get the fuse debuff up. We steal it? Oh, okay, no. Wasn't able to steal it on time. <clears throat> These little guys hurt, man. I can only imagine, like, the bots at, like, uh, 15,000 rating or, like, in Chapter 3. Those guys are really gonna hurt. Definitely gonna have to bring, like, the main squad with me. Alright, which path do we want to go? Do we want to fight Mirage? Repair? Nah, not today. We'll go up against Shockwave over here on the left. Go ahead and use Kickback. So Blaster special too, guys. It's actually not that difficult to dodge. I feel like it was only like extremely difficult in Revenge of the King. Just because he was always... Uh, or actually his mod was like 300% uh, speed and damage. So, it's coming at me way too quick to dodge, like, uh, quickly enough, but Windblade's heavy is actually able to avoid it, so that's one way to dodge it, as well as, I would think Mirage, using a heavy, he can dodge range attacks, so he'd also be good at just, hold, uh, yeah, doing a heavy while the special 2 is active and he can avoid it. Alright, Megatron's been taking a beating, but let's go ahead and use him again against this, uh, Brawler Sharktacon. One's feeling hot already. <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna go for the X guys. I think I might just go for an eight. I don't know if I should go for like the plus or the normal eight. I never actually had a plus, so I don't know. Is it like a mini iPad? <laughs> I'm just kidding. One of my friends has it from work, and it's a decent size. I might be good with that. I have to see the price. I don't even know how much they cost now. I think it's like 800 bucks or something, which is pretty pricey. Alright, anyways, we made it to Blaster. Alright. I'm not even reading the dialogue. I'll go back and reread it at another uh, later day. Let's see. All the mods on him. Range damage, absorb projectile, special 3 unlocked, and health boost. So, not too bad. Let's go ahead and use Megatron again. I want to see if I can steal any of those mods that Blaster has. Hopefully we don't get wrecked though. Ouch. Starting off a little bit bad. <laughs> Range attacks are going by so slow and we're healing him. Alright, so probably best not to do that against Blaster. Let's see if we can bait out that special one. There it is, the amp charge. Gotta go for a heavy. Alright. Little man came out of his chest. No, I'm just kidding. Rewind. <laughs> little man. All right there it is. Buff steel. Okay. All right, so we're stealing all of his stuff, but okay, they do eventually come back after a little bit. There we go, Megatron with the KO. 10,000 damage on the second shot. That was actually super strong. Victory. So overall, not too bad for Chapter 1. I think Chapter 1 is definitely doable. It reminded me a lot of what Expert used to be. So it wasn't too difficult, but we'll carry on in the next videos for the next mission. Chapter 1, what is it? Mission 2? Against Bumblebee. Okay, party getting started. A lot of people said Bumblebee was like a pain, so I'm hoping he's not a pain, but he probably will be. Let's see what the rating, recommended rating is. Alright, just jumped up by like 1,000 or 2,000, so let me check real quick. The bot ratings. Alright, won't be able to see Bumblebee from back here, but let's check out the mods. Alright, left side is the easy path with no real mods. Middle path has evading a melee attack 
generates 43% of a power bar. God, that's crazy. Power charge for. All right, so Bumblebee's gonna be gaining a bunch of power if we even allow him to. So, the boss shouldn't be too difficult to fight against. We just gotta be careful and time our attacks just right, so he isn't able to evade. But we'll go through that mission in the next video, guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And